hello sugar plums welcome back to my channel guys in today's DIY I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful set of pastel colors now I'm working on a collection that I call pastel fantasy and it's gonna have a lot of pastel colors uh, from uh, different products and it's gonna be also different pastel colors so uh, this is the yellow pastel color coaster set so I'm gonna be showing you how I make it it's super easy to make and it's so beautiful I am absolutely in love with the color and make sure you have your notification bell on guys because I'm gonna be posting those video like uh, very quickly maybe like more than twice a week now this is the coaster uh, I made now uh, for this set I decided to make two different sites of coaster one gonna have the uh, gold rim uh, gold rim around it and the other one's gonna be left like bare like this so I'm gonna go ahead and right now jump and show you what I'm gonna be doing now we're gonna be using this set of coaster mold uh, I got those again from Amazon came with the coaster holder and those are fairly smaller uh, mold than the other one that I use so it's uh, gonna take you a lot less of epoxy now for this set I'm gonna be using uh, yellow purple and blue and those are alcohol ink that I made those are made from a uh, neon pastel acrylic color um, um, so if you want to know how to make those check the video right there to uh, learn how to make your own and to give them that beautiful metallic uh, looking um, color I'm gonna be finding mica powder that's corresponding to the acrylic color that I'm gonna be using or the alcohol and color that I'm gonna be using to mix them a little bit with them for these guys you barely need any color and any mica powder big because we're gonna be making pastel color right so for this whole set total I'm gonna be using eight ounce of epoxy that's gonna be um, enough to complete the uh, coaster mold and the full coaster itself so i'm just gonna go ahead and each one of my cup i'm gonna uh, just add two low drop of alcohol ink and then a tiny tiny little bit of mica powder guys in each color corresponding color and then for the last uh, part i'm gonna take some clear epoxy and we're gonna mix some um uh, um, gold flakes within it and then uh, we're also going to be making um, adding a little bit of very fine gold glitter on it just to make it pop more now take your time guys mix your uh, colors uh, very nicely into the epoxy so everything is nice and blended you don't want any maca part of uh, uh, piece showing or any little bit of you know acrylic color or anything that's not blending it's not going to be pretty so make sure you mix them really well now for my base I'm gonna be using my gold flakes uh, mixed with uh, the clear epoxy um, into uh, the bottom part of the the mold also the uh, make sure when you put it in you know on the coaster mold you you tap it a little bit so that way you don't have any air bubble trap in you know on the side because the side is kind of hard to work with so you have to make sure that you start removing the air bubble as you're putting more color into your you know your mold now after i finish doing that i'm gonna go and start adding all my colors and before that again i'm gonna go quickly over it with uh, a little bit of the uh, heat gun on low heat guys don't go on high heat and your on, on your mold you don't want to break them and as you can see guys look at those colors beautiful I only had a little bit of alcohol ink a little tiny tiny little bit of mica powder just to give it that pop of shimmer and I'm gonna go and add my colors and then I'm gonna go again using my heat gun on low heat guys I'll quickly pop some bubble we're gonna go and use like a popsicle stick to stir a little bit of the color not too much because you we still want to have like uh, distinct colors by themselves but you have to mix them to give them that little bit of effect and also one trick I want to uh, tell you guys to do when you're dealing with uh those kind of uh, coaster mold holder I mean coaster holder mold <laughs> you um, take your popsicle stick stick it down on the side and kind of move it along the side and what this will do it'll pop any big bubbles that's gonna you know that's hiding in there and then you can also kind of pull them up and pop them on the surface just like I'm doing right now uh, you can see and this will help remove any big air pocket bubbles that you're gonna have there again for my torch guys 
make sure if you're gonna use your torch make sure you use it on super low heat don't go near your coaster edges you don't want to burn them mostly stay focused on the center and on low heat again guys now once i'm finished doing that i'm just gonna cover it let it sit and cure overnight and then the next morning well, i'm gonna go and unmold them and then i'm gonna be showing you my trick to do a very very nice bottom with less time to sand <laughs> for the bot for the bottom or oh, no time to send at all because if you do this trick you're not gonna be um have any you know drippage at the bottom for you to send because you'll be able to remove them really nice quickly and no i'm not gonna be using any tape at the bottom but we're gonna be using um uh, regular white school glue <laughs> yes now a lot of people use liquid latex to do that but liquid latex can be expensive Expensive. if you're gonna be using to make like a lot of coasters a lot of like other stuff guys it can become super pricey to use liquid latex which is pretty good but you can do the same same thing by using regular white glue school glue Elmer's glue guys or PVA glue it's gonna be the same same exact thing so it's gonna be your choice now I'm gonna be using just regular white glue uh, to do that and all you have to do really is take like the glue and pull it in the center of the bottom part of the coaster. Now the part that's going to be at the bottom, this is the part that you want to put the glue in. Not the part that's going to be on top because we're going to need to do a top coat on the top. That's whole, the whole reason that we're putting the glue at the bottom. So as you can see, I put a puddle of uh, the glue at the bottom in the center and using a popsicle stick again, I'm just going to take in my time moving it all the way to the very edge of the coaster of the bottom part of the coaster making sure every part of the edge is nice and covered and make sure you have a very thick amount of the glue not too thick for it to start spilling spilling over but make sure you have a very decent thick amount because this will make it more easier for you when you have to remove it later on now this is what it's going to be looking like you see i'm taking my time putting it all the way to the edge and it's not going to move because it's very thick it's going to level itself it's going to stay there like this and guys i'm going to let it cure for a whole 24 hours and you're gonna know when it's ready when it become clear like this now once it's clear like this and you'll be able to touch it it's not sticky just go ahead and flip it upside down again or right side up <laughs> and then put put the glue part at the you know on the top and then now you're ready to top coat your coasters now if you have any drippage it's not gonna go at the bottom it's gonna be easier for you to remove and you don't have to do any sending so this is my little chip trick for you guys if you don't want to spend the money to buy liquid latex right glue or pva glue use perfectly fine now all i'm gonna be doing is top coat my coasters and one of the trick also i want to do i want to tell you when you're doing like doming on your coaster just let it sit you know your epoxy let it sit for a little bit just a little bit to start to thicken that way it's not gonna just run over the side and you're gonna lose all your epoxy make sure uh, it's thick a little bit so that way it's gonna stay and level really nice at the top now i'm taking my time to do this and i'm gonna do this for all of them and as you can see i'm only giving you a little sneak peek on the next one that i'm doing it's gonna be a red pastel um coaster and i let them cure overnight again this is the next day i'm gonna be showing you how beautiful the top coat look on it a very very nice doming on it guys and this the reason is because you have to let your epoxy sit for at least two or three minutes depending on what type of epoxy that you're using you know how uh, how much working time you have with it now i use primarian supplies and it gave me quite a few um you know minutes to work uh work time so I can just let it sit for at least five minutes before I start, you know, pulling it on top. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start removing the glue that's at the bottom. And when the glue, when you're adding the glue, guys, if you see any bubbles, just let it cure like this because that way it'll be easier for you to kind of put something sharp under it and then remove it now i'm using a scissor to pull pull it out i'm not touching the coaster itself guys i'm putting the scissor under the glue itself and then pull it up and then voila all i'm gonna do right now is just spill it off and then i have a beautiful finish at the bottom of the coaster that we don't have to go and send 
easy peasy right guys <laughs> so 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 easy to use and you don't even have to spend the money to buy liquid latex glow is cheaper and if you're gonna be doing a lot so trust me glue work fine so this is what it's gonna be looking like guys i'm gonna just go ahead and do the same thing for each one of them remove the glue at the bottom and once we're done guys i decided to go and add a gold rim on uh, two of the coaster and um, the coaster holder itself so for this set two of the coasters is gonna have the gold rim on it and two is gonna be completely clear just with no rim on it just to you know make it a little bit more interesting um and this is what the set gonna be looking like inside the coaster holder it's so beautiful i absolutely love 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 the pastel collection guys um and i know you're gonna love it too and for the color uh i'm gonna be using the deco or uh, color premium and guys this pen is beautiful the shine from the metallic it's amazing either the silver or the uh gold is beautiful i haven't used the rose gold yet so i have to put the order this this pen is very hard to find so when you find it guys try to get uh, at least a few of them because they are very hard to find even on amazon i'll try to find everything that i'm using and leave the link for you guys on my uh, inside my amazon uh, store so make sure you click on that if you want to check to see if they still have that available and once i'm finished guys this is that's it we are done we're gonna let the the pen uh ink dry and then we are all set that's it for today guys um also guys if you have any color combination you think that will look beautiful in a, in a pastel color just let me know down below and i'll uh, try to make it because again i'm doing a collection that's gonna have different pastel colors and different product with the pastel and we are done guys look how beautiful the color combination look i can't wait for you to see the red one i will be posting that on friday so make sure you have your notification bell on if you're new to my channel guys and you're here for the first time welcome thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video and please do me a favor subscribe to my channel like this video share it with your friend and family and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified when i put a video out every monday and friday or every sunday and friday and if you're not subscriber you're back again thank you so much for being here again i love you so so much guys thank you for all the love and support i really 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 appreciate all of it guys thank you so much for being here i'm gonna let you finish watching this video guys make sure you take it in and watch all the clips because it's so beautiful and again guys i have many 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 diy on my video on my channel if you want to check them out you can just go ahead and click on my channel name and go directly inside my channel and watch as many diys as you want and if you want to ask me a question please go ahead and leave me a comment down below don't forget to follow me on all my social media account they're gonna be down in the description box below also if you want to know everything that i use make sure you click on the amazon link for my store and i post everything there for you guys so it can be easier for you to just go and find what you want i'll see you guys next week for another video on friday and as always guys you know the deal be blessed and stay blessed i love you guys bye Mwah. It's dinner time, she leaves the kingdom in her mind A bookmark and a storyline, the chapter is done The mystery of what will be tomorrow when the clock strikes three There beneath the cedar tree, the princess will come And there's nothing that she couldn't do When she closes her eyes and imagines the view And there's never a care for tomorrow Cause Molly's a princess today Yeah, well, there's never a care for tomorrow cuz Molly's a princess today oh la 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 la
Merlin Skibber Ring with flowing hair and ragged jeans and floating in a vivid dream as classes go by. And every day at three o'clock, she's out the door and down the